love the country. While I prefer the town. Mm -hmm. When we put our heads together, we're the best combination around. Emily and Alexander were really quite a pair. Put our heads together In the end we always win Country mouse and city mouse We're really quite a pair Wherever there's adventure You'll find these two cousins there Country mouse and city mouse Wonderful, Alexander. Alexander? Monsieur, I do not need you to show me how to make French toast, French fries, or French dressing. No! For the last time, it is not on my menu. Hmm. And he calls himself a French chef. Monique said to be sure to be on the noon train because she had a big surprise for us. Emily! Bonjour! Hello, Emily! Hello, Monique! Oh my! Welcome, Alexander! In Ciotat, we kiss three times! <laughs> Monique, Emily tells me you have a surprise for us. Yes, a big surprise! But first, I would like to introduce you to my very good friend, René Lumière. Pleased to meet you, René. Alexander, where are your manners? I'm sorry. I couldn't help notice those two men standing around that strange contraption. Look! They're my uncles, Auguste and Louis Lumière. They're trying out their new invention. It's called a cinematograph. That's my surprise! Oh, but I don't understand. Why are we whispering? Shh! Because the new invention is a secret. It's a camera that takes moving pictures and then projects them onto a screen. René! Yes, Uncle Auguste? Madame Eno has kindly given us her key to the Savoie Theater so that Uncle Louis and I can get ready for tonight. Would you like to come with us? Oui, yes, please. What's happening tonight? Oh, that's the second part of the secret. Is the question. Bravo! Bravo! But the question isn't to be or not to be. The question is, how do moving pictures look? You'll just have to wait for my uncle's big presentation tonight to see what we mean. Oh, this is just tragic! Auguste! Louis! Madame Eno, Auguste and I are so grateful to you for lending us your beautiful theater to present our new invention. Oh! But you don't understand. It is so tragic. No, be quiet like a good dog. This <laughs> is just Pipi's way of saying hello. <laughs> you were saying something was tragic? I just found this note at the front door. It says, do not proceed with your show or else the sword of Damocles hangs perilously over your head. It looks like someone wants the Lumiere's secret invention to stay a secret forever. But my uncles have invested all their money in their new invention. If they can't sell it, they'll go bankrupt. Rene, see if you can get that note. We better have a look at it. Oh, this is too tragic. Defeat at your moment of triumph. Fifi, no! Oh, for heaven's sake. Madame Eno. We are not going to let this stop us from presenting our invention tonight. You're not? No, madame. Idle threats do not stop the Lumiere brothers. For your sake, I hope it is only a threat. Uh, uh, will you excuse me? I got the note. 
What does this mean? Sword of Damocles. It's an old Greek saying. It means there's danger nearby. Do you smell something? Yes. There's something on this note that's making me... Sneeze. No, it smells like something's burning. What is the... Was close. Cousins, the rope! It's going to break! Ah, I, I can't hold it! Renee, you're not heavy enough! You'll have to let go! Oh, oh no! Uncle Agost! Uncle Louie! Look out! Huh? Oh no! This is too tragic! Now it truly is defeat at your moment of triumph. Ah, no, it's not. It's not? Except for this reel of film which has been exposed to light, the rest can be fixed. Well then, good. As we say in the theater, the show must go on. Someone doesn't want the Lumiere brothers to present their new invention. But who? And why? <laughs> We've double-checked all the ropes backstage. No sandbags will be falling on the Lumiere's invention tonight. Good. Then it's time we took our seats. And now, ladies and gentlemen, tonight you will see something that will astound you. My brother and I have invented a camera unlike any you've ever seen before. Lights, please. That's the Ciotta train station! Amazing! Yes! This camera takes moving pictures and projects them so we can see them! <gasps> Look out! The train is coming right at us! Whoa! what they saw, or no one will ever come to see our moving pictures again. Friends, wait! It's all a mistake. That wasn't a real train. It was pictures of a train. Our camera takes pictures very quickly and then shows them to you right away. The train you see is the one that arrived in Ciota this morning. Oh, these men, they are genius. <laughs> ah, who better to see moving pictures? They never fly. Well, it had me fooled. Good, August. We are saved. Emily? Alexander? Rene, we're over here. Are you two all right? Yes, thanks. But judging by the audience's reaction, I don't give these moving pictures much of a chance of succeeding. <gasps> they won't have any chance of succeeding if we don't stop that man from stealing the invention. Come on, Emily, Alexander, hurry, he's getting away. It's the thief's hat! I'm sure of it! He must have run this way! The backstage door! Hurry! The door's locked! And I can't fit through here! Renee, you go back and tell your uncles what happened. We'll follow the thief. Doggy doors sure come in handy. But, you know, there's only one problem with doggy doors. What? Uh -oh. Money, Emily! Run! She's gaining on us! We have to...
to hide. Who turned out the lights? As long as we're quiet, Fifi will never find us in here. Yeah. Oh dear, I feel a sneeze coming on. <laughs> oh no, not again. Phew! Emily, you must be allergic to the thief. The note, the candle, this hat, they all belong to him and they all made you sneeze. Yes. <laughs> Distractor, you go tell Rene what's happened. Hey, Fifi! Catch me if you can! Poor Alexander! What can we do? Monique, quick! Help me untie this rope, or Alexander will be Fifi's next meal. Do you see yourself as an appetizer or a main dish? Very funny. Come on, we better find Renee. Could things be any worse? First, my uncle's new invention gets stolen, and now I have to go back home to Lyon. If your uncles built their camera once, couldn't they do it again? The father refuses to spend any more money. He thinks moving pictures will never be popular. Renee, you should pack your suitcase. Our train leaves for Lyon in less than two hours. Coming, Uncle Auguste. If only we could find the man who stole the camera. Tickets now on sale for the Count of Monte Cristo. Tickets now on sale. Wait a minute. That sandwich board. Emily, this is no time to be thinking of food. But look. Tickets now on sale for the Count of Monte Cristo. Tickets now on sale for the The play that opens next week. Hey, that man in the picture looks just like the one who stole the invention last night. But that can't be. That is Jean-Pierre, a very famous actor. Why would he want to steal it? Do you know where he lives? May we? Oui. Yes, but... Then let's find out. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. Give me a hand, I'm stuck. Easy! Yeah. <laughs> Must be all those croissants I've been eating. <laughs> em. <laughs> no one will ever guess. It was me who stole their precious treasure. Come on, over here! They thought they could fool me, but they were wrong. I took their only chance for success away. That's it. Jean-Pierre must have stolen the camera. We should go back and tell René right now. No, we have to get a look at the thief so that we know for sure. But we'll never fit under this door. If we could somehow get up to the keyhole, we could peek inside. I've got an idea. I'll be right back. Ha ha ha! No one will ever guess it was me. No one will ever oh. guess it was me. No one will ever guess it was me. This thief must really be proud of himself to be bragging over and over again. A spoon, a safety pin, and what exactly are you planning to do with these, Alexander? I'm going to offer you the opportunity of a lifetime, dear Emily. Oh, really? You always said you wanted to fly, right? Well, here's your chance. Hey, wait a minute. Whoa! If I remember correctly, you were the one who wanted to learn to fly. You know, Emily, I think you're right. Ouch! Okay, that's enough. He looks just like the man from the theater. It must be him. It looks like we've found our thief. Monsieur, I'm afraid you are mistaken. You have insulted the good name of the Count of Monte Cristo. Well, <laughs> let's not be hasty. All I said was it 
Looks like we found our thief. I challenge you to a duel! Whoa! 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 <laughs> I see you are familiar with the mousely art of fencing. Actually, I prefer tennis. It's too late to work on your backhand now. Monsieur, prepare to meet thy doom. Going up? I'll never get this part right. I'm a terrible actor. Actor? Yes, Monsieur Jean-Pierre and I have been rehearsing for the play The Count of Monte Cristo for three days straight. But we saw Jean-Pierre at the Savoy Theater last night. He stole a valuable new invention. Mais no, it's impossible. I will prove it to you. Come with me. You cannot please the thief you're after. Look for yourself. No one will ever guess it was me. No one will ever guess it was me. He's got me. a broken leg. He has not left the house in weeks. Alexander, look. It's a top hat, just like the one the thief was wearing. But this one doesn't make me sneeze. See? So, if Jean-Pierre isn't the thief, it's back to square one for us. And with Renee's train leaving in an hour, we better hurry. Come on. I bid you farewell, mes amis, and good luck. Hey, aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> Cousins, I still don't know what we're looking for. Frankly, Monique, neither do we. But we'll know it when we see it. Wow. Does that include me? Renee! Sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I just couldn't get on that train without trying to help my poor uncles one more time. We got in through the doggy door in the back. How did you get into the theater, Rene? I used the key Madame Eno gave to my uncles. Yeah, yeah, it's you! Oh, that's odd. Something's got me sneezing again. Maybe the thief is around here somewhere. Or maybe... Rene, let me see that key. <laughs> it's you! The key made you sneeze. Then the thief must be... <gasps> Madame Eno! Rene, what are you doing? The moving picture camera. If we're right, Madame Eno must have hidden it somewhere. You're right. Emily, Monique, help me pull this cloth. Rene, you were right. <laughs> No one will ever guess it was me who stole their precious treasure. <laughs> and no, nothing can stand in the way of the Count of Monte Cristo. <laughs> of course. If the mystery man wasn't Jean-Pierre the actor, then Madame Hinault was the only one who had access to his costume for the play. I can't lift it. It's too heavy. If we can't move the camera, how are we going to prove she took it? I know. We'll take moving pictures of Madame Henault. When Renée's uncles develop the pictures, it'll prove she's the thief. The only problem is, we must get Madame Henault out of her disguise. Don't worry. Leave that to me. Someday, all actors will thank me for stealing this camera and saving the real theater from these ridiculous moving pictures. Ah! What do you think you're doing? You stole my uncle's new invention, and now we've got it all on camera. Smile. Oh! Did you get it? Yes, yes! Now, hurry! Fifi, after It's locked! The key! You've got the key! that man to let us use his car. It's so much better than running, don't you think? Yes, it certainly has appeal. If Renée doesn't show up soon, we'll miss our train. Oh, oh, oh looks like she's on her way. Renée, watch out! Uncle Auguste! It's a good thing this cut comes with
with its own brakes, huh? Monique? Emily? Alexander? <gasps> contest we were in in Quebec. I hope not, Alexander. As I remember it, we fell in the water and went over some waterfalls. <laughs> now it reminds me of that long rolling contest. Ah! René, what is the meaning of this? Where did you get that film? Uncle Auguste, Uncle Louis, I have something very important to show you. Ah, oh, cousins, perhaps I will go to Quebec and try this log rolling, yes? <laughs> Who knows, we might win this time. <laughs> I wouldn't count on it. Dear Emily and Alexander, when my uncles confronted Madame Henault with the developed film, she confessed. She was worried moving pictures would ruin live theater and put her out of business. But in fact, the crowds coming to see the moving pictures have helped Madame finance her new play, The Count of Monte Cristo. My uncles are now shipping moving picture cameras all over the world, and a friend of Monique's is making mouse-sized cameras like the one I sent you. I don't know. I still think the Lumiere's father was right. These moving pictures will never catch on. Perhaps, but just the same. Let's rewind it and watch it again. Hey, you know what would go good with this? Some popcorn. <laughs>